Three things you wish you'd known before you made your first feature film. Oh my God. <laughs> That's all you need, three? Uh, three oh, things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, three things I wish I'd known before I made my first feature film. I wish I, I, let me say this. I think because I didn't know anything, I didn't know anything at all about filmmaking. Like, um, I'm glad everything happened the way it did. Uh, because I think had I, this is me, I think because I didn't know a lot, it made me want to prove so many people wrong and prove, you know, just let people know like, look, I can do this. Like, I can do this. Um, and the way I got into the film business is, not the film business, but into directing, was actually I want I don't want to say by accident, but um, it was it was there was a director who promised that you know I, I I would write all these screenplays, and he promised that the screenplay that I optioned to him would be the next screenplay that he write. He didn't he didn't go through with his word, and at that particular time I was emotional about it, I was angry about it, but what I did was I uh, went out and I made my first film. And as I look back, I'm thankful that he said no. Because had he made that first film, I would have never probably got on the set and started to direct. But once I got on set to direct my first film, even though I didn't know anything, I didn't know anything about filmmaking, I didn't know what I was doing, um, I knew that this is where I want, what I wanted to do. So I don't think there's anything that I wish I had have known because, you know, um, at that particular time, I can say, well, I wish I had went to film school, but I don't wish I had went to film school. Um, because I, I, I've loved, I love that whole process of learning as I go along, learning as I make different films. And uh, because it, for me, um, for me, making my, it was like, it was, that was film school for me. And every time I would, I would screen a film, I would get this constructive criticism. Not only did it make me a better filmmaker, but that criticism made me a better human being that I probably wouldn't have received if had I went to film school. So as I, as, as the, as I got that criticism, I didn't go, I didn't think I would knew everything. I had to listen. So when you listen to the, and able to accept constructive criticism, that does something to, you, to your character. You know, so a lot of us, again, a lot of us don't want to um, uh, display our work because of that of that constructive criticism. You know, so there's not I don't think there's anything that I that I wish I had known going to going to. You know, I don't think there's anything I, I, I'm blessed to have took the took the road that I took as far as as a filmmaker. I mean, there's something to be said sometimes for not researching something and just trying it as long as it's not life threatening, because sometimes then you talk yourself out of it mm -hmm. and you go, oh, well, if I do this and it's not this, then this is going to happen. And so sometimes maybe it's better to just say, like you said, just do it. And then you kind of learn as you go. And, and with your first film, you said it was all wide shots. You yes. didn't have any close ups or mediums. Mm -hmm. And so but if you had been too like precious about it, you maybe you wouldn't have made the first one and then it wouldn't have led to the second one. I mean, I'm just theorizing here. I'm, I no, I didn't see, his, the thing is, is that I think if I went to film school, I probably would have thought, okay, I can't make a film for $5,000. Oh, well, if that first film, it was made for like $1,000. I was like, I can't make a film for $1,000. You know, um, because in, probably in film school, I don't know, maybe they're taught that you need a certain budget. But I wasn't thinking about budget. I wasn't thinking about, I, I thought, okay, I know I can make a film for $5,000. I knew I could make a film for $10,000. So had I went to film school, I probably didn't have that, I probably didn't think that way. I probably, okay, I need 150,000 to make a film during that particular time, you know? And so that's why I'm saying I'm, I'm thankful that I went in that direction because, you know, I, hey, I'm saying I have $1,000, I'm gonna use this $1,000, I'm gonna make a movie, you know? <laughs> and uh, even though it shot, it was, everything was shot in wide shots, but I'm, I'm grateful, I'm thankful, you know? Because the next one, we had our medium shots, we had our wide shots, we had our close-ups, and then you know, 
And you know, each each project, you know, I've seen it, you know, grow and grow and grow. And I'm only gonna get, you know, I'm always I consider myself a student filmmaker because I'm always learning. I'm watching I'm on film courage. I'm watching the interviews. <laughs> um, I'm I'm always I'm always consider myself a student filmmaker, and I would never ever escape that. Good plug. Yeah. Thank you for. Can you do it one more time? Can you do oh, yeah. it just one more time? And no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's no good. problem.